Hello guys. So today we will see how we can connect our PHP script with Asterisk by making use of PHP AGI. So for that we already have installed LAMP server and MySQL workbench. So let's begin. Move inside Verlib Asterisk. And here AGI and here we have to create one file. Let's name this file as call.php and inside this file we will write our PHP script. So for PHP script first of all we have to include our file and PHP. So it will include it by As we know, this is the path where PHP is installed. So you know that PHP is written inside these tags, and we have to include our AGI. So write this where lib asterisk AGI pen, and here PHP. AGI file. We have to include these files. Verlib asterisk AGI and PHP AGI. Okay. And now we will take one object of this AGI. And this value, this variable will store the value like I have written argv so argv1 will take the value from our dial plan and will store that value in this variable ext variable and now let's establish our database connection Our database username is root and password is blank and our database name which we have written was asterisk and the remaining was db host that is our host so host is a local IP address. You have to write the IP address whichever is yours. Like if you have a static IP, then you have to write your static IP or other IP. Now let's make a connection. DB host and DB username next is password and the last one would be DB name So this will establish a database connection and now I'm writing this thing that is I'm writing whether um, let's take any value get number so if from dial plan we are sending this get number then this will be stored in this extension that is ext variable so we will check whether this x ext variable is equal to this or not i'll explain this later when we will create the dial plan according to this agi script so now what we have to do is 
we have to fetch record from database so for that select and column name column name was let's see what was the column name and table name the table name is calling table and column name is call number so select call number from calling table mm, calling table okay so this will give you the records now check So this will take out the records as we have passed the query and connection and inside it we will check for the records. By making use of MySQLi fetch row function and pass the query that is this result inside it and we will store these records inside this variable that is array c user Okay, so we have taken, we have validated this and we have searched for this query and result will get stored in result variable and row will keep on traversing and containing this. You can write this code according to your needs. And now we will make use of dollar agi as you can see this is the dollar agi so we will make use of this object agi purpose will write down the output to our asterisk verbose that is when we use asterisk dash rvvv and we will get inside asterisk console so there we will see this output let's write this variable here so that we can get to know that whether the user is successfully fetched or not and this is set variable function in this function we will set this variable value call num to the user of 0 so this will set this variable value to this value now let's save it and uh, one more thing what we have to do to run agi script is click on that script properties and uh, from permissions allow executing file as a program and now let's move to our dial plan let's create a new extension
and here call our HCL. Uh, we named it as call.php so write call.php here and pass get number as a variable or as a string this is a string and the next step would be let's print this or no need to print we will print this in our post so next step would be to die of here let's open our script first we have taken as all underscore now this variable so we will use this variable here all now now let's save it and check So to check, first of all, move to Astra console. Okay, start our Astra. Now move it here. And now the main thing is we have to set our verbose to on. So write AGI set debug on. This will enable our AGI debugging. Let's check what are the peers. So, peers, whether they are connected or not. Set show peers. Right now, my mobile is connected. Let's open Twinkle and now it should also be connected. Okay, so test one is also connected now. And as defined in the dial plan, let's dial 200 extension and check whether this extension will call our CPL test one or not. Let's start our CPL again, say up simple again because sometimes it creates problem. Let's dial 200 extension again. Okay, as you can see, it rang this. Our peer is getting the call. Now let me now, now let me explain this to you. As you can see, this is this is the new thing for you. So what we have done was we set it this to AGI set debug on this because of this we are able to see the debugging in depth so our AGI script that was call.php we set it that variable here that is this and as you can see set variable call now to test one it set at this variable value to test one it fetched out the value from database and from there it got test one and it placed that value in this call num and this was the argument which you gave from our dial plan and accordingly it set at that value here and dial this peer let me explain you this whole thing move to our console or our php script and from the beginning we have to include this thing because we need our php to run so our php is installed inside user bin so we did this path and as you know this 
PHP should be written inside these tags. So we place them and then we need to include okay, so we need to include these things that was php agi.php file which is meant to run these agi scripts and this variable this is dollar agi so this will act as an object as we have created by making use of new and agi function so this is the object of agi script and then you can see this dollar argv1 so you, you should see here that I have written by calling this PHP script I passed this thing so this is that argument value so it fetched this value and stored it inside this dollar ext variable and this is the database connection which you all know how to make it and this is my SQLI connection and after this this is this that means get number was the string which we have provided from our dial plan and this get number is stored in this variable so we compared it by making use of double equal to and then we write this query that is select call number call number is the table column name and this is the table name so it selected this value and stored this this inside our result as we have made this query run by making use of MySQLi query function. So when this result is included in this, so we checked it and we stored this value that was returned inside this C user. And now you can see that I have set it this AGI verbose C user 0. So you can see that thing here AGI verbose this. So this you can understand. And the last thing was AGI set verbose call num to this value. So AGI set verbose was written here set variable name yes set variable name to call num to this value which was returned from database and this value was test one so in this manner this all worked and we successfully created this dial plan by making use of agi script and there are many more things by which you can do by yourself like you can make a for loop and you can traverse all the users and you can automatically create a call you can automatically generate call to those users like let's take an example you want to call 10 users and you want to play some message when they pick the call so define those 10 users here in your database and add one more column here for message and then you can make use of this script and you if you are using this PHP then you must be knowing how to do this and traverse by making use of for loop and make a call one by one so in this manner you can traverse and automatically generate a call to any number of users you want so guys if you like this video please like this and subscribe my channel anti-confusion thank you guys